Hello people, today I'm going to show you rock solid proof that 0.9 repeating is exactly equal to 1. Not close, not approximately, but exactly, and I think I did good. But before I show you that rock solid proof, I have to show you two others that I see but personally do not like. The first one states 0.3 repeating is equal to 1 third. Simple enough. Multiply both sides by 3 and then 0.9 repeating equals 1. Seems good, but I don't really like it because if you think, if you wrote, if you write that down, people are going to think that, oh, then that means that 0.3 repeating is slightly less than 1 third. And then you're stuck. Now here's another one that doesn't assume that 0.3 repeating is 1 third. But, I still don't like it. 0.9 repeating is equal to x, simple enough. M multiply both sides by 10. 10x minus x equals 9x, always, no matter what x is. Then that substitution, 9x equals 9, x equals 1. Simple enough. But here's the flaw with this. Now, infinity minus infinity doesn't technically equal 0. And people assume the same thing goes for 0.9 repeating. It's not necessarily a number. And that means that this does not cancel out. So x does not equal 1. There's a way to refute that, but... I still don't really like it that much. And here's the one that rock solid. Now, 0.9 repeating, that's the geometric series. 9 tenths plus 9 hundredths plus 9 thousandths. Then you have a circle graph, or just like a pizza. You take one-tenth of the pizza off. This is the blue plus the green plus everything else that's too small to see with this camera. This whole bit is one-tenth. And then the screen bit, along with everything else that you can't see, is one hundredth. And then that yellow bit, which right there is a thousandth and so on. Now you don't cut these and then say you don't have a whole pizza, but if you think 0.9 repeating doesn't equal 1, you might as well think that. And here's why. If this is 1 tenth right here, and this is 9 tenths. Now here, this whole bit is 1 tenth minus that bit, which is 100. 1 tenth minus 100. And that's 10 hundredths minus 100, since 1 tenth is 10 hundredths, and that's 9 hundredths right there. And then what about this bit? You get one hundredth minus one thousandth because of that other bit. And that's ten thousandths minus one thousandth, which would be nine thousandths. So that's nine tenths plus nine hundredths plus nine thousandths and so on, which still equals the whole pizza. And that's rock solid proof. That point nine repeating is equal to one.